This is a small prototype of uh, Rom Husk, which is Husk is uh, Norwegian for remember, and it's based repetition in Rome, where all the metadata is stored in uh, browser storage, not as part of the graph. So this plugin will never modify your graph. It is compatible with this kind of metadata from Rome Toolkit. Uh, so the first time it runs through, it will read in all of that metadata into the graph, but it will not. Uh, and then it will keep updating it using the same algorithm and you can actually remove it if you want to. So the way it works is um, I just click here and uh, it sorts through all of uh, the cards in my database, but it also reads uh, the previous repetitions from browser storage. And so we can see that it's found the cards. Uh, so the, the interface is very minimal right now. It might be improved later. But here you see um, the cards that I need to repeat today. And uh, here are overdue cards that it's going to give me in a random order afterwards. So if I uh, start doing my reps, basically uh, I can uh, press one to four if I already know the answer. Uh, so this would be, I think, 12,700 years ago. And I press space. Oh. Okay, so it's talking. It's not talking about the last glacial period, but the last ice age. So I got that wrong, so I'm gonna press one. And uh, this is just some uh, debug, but you see here that it uh, modified the interval, it modified the factor, and it rescheduled it for today. So what that means is if I um, stop the repetition and I do a another session later today, um, I'm gonna see that card again. So it rescheduled it for today, or it would pop up tomorrow. So this time maybe I remember it, so I'll, I'll put a two, and you see now that the interval's gone up, factors uh, mod been modified, and it's now uh, rescheduled for two days from now. Here's uh, another question. Um, I think I know this one, so I'm just gonna answer right away with a three without even looking at it. This one, Holocene, that was Pleistocene. Yep, I got that one, that's a four, uh, and so on. Um, I can always download all my data just pressing D and I get a file uh, that just has a dump of all the UIDs and uh, the metadata. Um, I can also press U and I can upload a, an older backup. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Just show you also, so these cards are cards I had from Rome Toolkit, the, but uh, in the future it'll be much easier. So. Um, let's say I want to add some new cards in my daily log. So I'll say, um, today I learned that we can, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, run cars on hydrogen. What is one thing we can run on hydrogen? cars. Yeah, that's a pretty bad example, but anyway. So I'm just going to mark it with SR. And if I now go back here, we'll see in today's cards, uh, there's still quite a few cards left today, but we see here the last card that was just added um, with a default factor and interval is this card I just um, uh, reviewed. So if we just click um, quickly to that card, Let's see. So here is uh, ah, come on. There's the card. So this is the card that I just added on my daily page. And now I might say, well, I remember this really well. So I'm going to press a four. And we see here uh, that the interval and the factor has been changed. But of course, if we go to my daily page, um, there's no more data here. Um, but again, this has been saved here. And if I reloaded the page, I would see the same data because it's in browser storage. If I wanna um, you know, download it as a backup, I can do that. And that's basically right now what we can do. I'm gonna play with this for a while to see if this works well. And if it does, there's a lot of other kinds of questions that we could add and kind of cool things.